Hello, I'd like to share a thought on Romans 8.28 which says, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. So let me begin with a cartoon. I'm going to hold that up and give you a moment to look at it. This is a little bit like uh, our bedroom, except we only have one dog. And in a sense, church used to be a bit like this as well. You know, we were all kind of crowding in together and we were very cosy in a good way. But now we have social separation and isolation and it's a massive change that we couldn't even have imagined two months ago. Someone phoned me a couple of days ago and asked me if I thought God sent the coronavirus. And of course the question then follows on, does God create viruses? On reflection, I believe the coronavirus outbreak came into being because we live in a fallen world and humanity has made poor choices. Warnings about an inevitable future global pandemic pandemic were ignored and we have shortchanged the NHS as well as the police and schools for the last 10 years and now we're playing catch up. So we are where we are but the good news is God loves us and will work for the good of those in this dreadful situation. God I believe is doing a new thing, he is shaking us cogs as a church community and urging us to be radically different. He is disrupting all our preconceptions about church and outreach. And when this awful crisis is over, our church will not be the same. Perhaps we are being refined in the fire, recast into something fresh and new. Better equipped to reach out to a wounded community around us in Crookon. I'll finish with uh, just a, a couple of verses more from Romans 8. Knowing all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. God bless you all and keep you safe.